I'm Clara Rossler, a field reporter for Hofstra Today, and I'm here at the Center for Career Design and Development to interview Michelle A. Grayson on the latest news about the career closet. I'm here with Michelle A. Grayson. I'm the Assistant Director of Equity, Inclusion, and Campus Partnerships here at the Center for Career Design and Development. Our office have always been in existence, but as far as the career closet, um, the career closet started about four years ago and it was kind of like a one-off event. But this semester is the first semester that we actually have a home for the career closet. One of the goals for the career closet was to just give students um, access to professional clothing and professional attire so that students could feel confident at attending career fairs, mm -hmm. confident in their interviews, and then also just kind of like level the playing field so that people and students just have access to professional wear and suits. I believe we received about maybe 5,000 items over the past four years. Every single day, we're receiving phone calls and getting drop off from like, not just one person, but like three, four, five people are dropping off bags and bags of goodies and, and clothing and accessories. In the beginning of the semester, we had our um, pop-up shop and our kind of ribbon cutting event, just celebrating the fact that we have a permanent location, um, FYI, it's in the um, Campus Living and Wellness Center, and it's right across from Res Life, right next to the um, Pride Pantry. Moving forward, students could just um, schedule an appointment, and basically we're taking appointments only um, for the remainder of the semester. Yeah, that's so amazing, the amount of options you can get here. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. It was so much fun talking to Michelle A. about the career closet. Book an appointment online and make sure to check it out. Back to you in the studio.